Hey, what's going on guys? California Flippy here, bringing you guys another video. I'm gonna be dropping off some packages here. Yeah, and they're gonna do a little local pickup. So, I'm gonna take you guys along. And yeah, I'm gonna probably hit a couple thrift stores. You guys know the deal, kinda just random. I'll show you guys my daily grind. So yeah, we're gonna go drop this stuff off at USPS and then uh, go pick up this uh, little bundle we got. So, talk to you guys soon. Oh yeah, guys, I had a good idea, or I think it's a good idea. Um, if you guys ever watched Rally Roots, go check them out. A really good channel, very um, good information over there. If you do a lot of clothing, electronics, and just a really good, uh, cool couple to watch on YouTube. But anyways, I saw them do um, like a reseller giveaway box, pretty much like where they would thrift items and put in a box and they would give it away to one of their subscribers or followers on Instagram, however they did it. And I, I was thinking about doing the same thing, um, doing a reseller box, you know, of clothing and shoes, maybe some small electronics, whatever I could find at the thrift stores, getting a big box together and selling it off or not selling it off, giving it away to one of you guys. And maybe all you would have to do is maybe pay the shipping or whatever. We'd have to figure it out. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to thrift the items, good quality stuff. And all you would have to do is pay the shipping and that's it and you get a good box of inventory and of course i'll make a video of the box of what's in there so you know what to expect and it's going to be a win-win for you um anyways so um basically i'm doing the work you're paying me for the shipping um you know through paypal or whatever and then i ship the stuff to you and that's it you make some money so let me know if you'd be down for that um you know let me know if you sell clothing shoes if you just sell video games um, the reason why I would be willing to do that is because I just love thrifting and when I don't, I'm not finding video games, I look at the clothing once in a while and I could find some good stuff, good quality stuff that's going to sell good. Um, you guys saw my last videos. I picked up some Jams World shirts, um, you know, some, some Allen Edmonds. So I know what to look for. I used to sell clothes and shoes. So anyways, let me know if you guys would be interested in that down in the comments down below. And yeah, um, let's go do this pickup and we'll pick it up from there. All right, guys, so before I get into my pickups that I got from today, I'm going to share some solds with you guys. I like to do this because I like to share um, and give you guys value of, you know, kind of an insight of what's selling for me right now, what I'm buying, and just how much I'm paying for the item, how much it's selling for, because I feel like this stuff ultimately will help you guys out when you guys are outsourcing at flea markets, garage sales, offer up Facebook marketplace. You guys can kind of see what bundles I'm buying, how much I'm paying. So I think this is where you guys get the most value out of it. If that's true, please hit the like button and I'll continue doing this stuff on my channel. And so after this, we'll get into the nice bundles and we'll pretty much do the same thing um, just from, you know, on my pickups. So first things first, let me flip the camera around and show you guys what's selling <clears throat> so right here guys i have some of the items that sold and then we have the sold comps up here of the prices that they sold for so let's go all the way down so as you see i have 11 items that need to go out for 739 dollars so pretty good day um let's go all the way to the bottom so the first thing that sold here is this sony playstation 2 slim and that sold for $99.99. So I like to pay like 40 to 50 bucks on these. I'll pay upwards to maybe 60, but I try to stay in that 40 to 50 range as long as they're complete and have all the cords. So you can expect to get around 100 bucks, you know, 90 to 100 bucks. So with video game stuff, guys, you got to expect sometimes a little slimmer margins. And that's kind of how I operate my business. Like this right here, Sony PlayStation 4. I paid 200 bucks for it and it sold for $359.99. So, you know, I'll probably make like 80 to probably about 90 to $95 profit after shipping. Um, you know, after fees, all that stuff, I'll make around 90 bucks profit, maybe 95 bucks profit. So spending 200 to make almost a hundred dollars profit and that's i'll do that all day long then we got farming simulator nothing crazy 100 bucks and then we have sony playstation 2 controller i love picking these up um you know the the black playstation 2 controllers i usually keep for the systems and if they're colored you know blue silver um this clear smoke color 
Um, I usually sell them separate because they get, you know, 25 bucks for them. That's what I get for them, as you see right there. This one I listed last night and it sold overnight. Or sold at like probably like an hour after I listed it. So it sold for $24.99. And then we got this uh, N64 expansion pack. I tell you guys, take these out of the systems and sell them separately. Um, this sold, these things have been going up in price recently. As you see right there, OEM N64 expansion pack that sold for $59.99. So a little more than I expected before I was getting like, um, you know, fit like 45, 40, 45 bucks. So need for speed underground two. That's a good game to look out for. This one didn't sell for as much cause it was a bit, a bit scratched. So I sold it in acceptable condition for 12 99. It did work though. So hopefully the customer is happy with that one. Then we sold this Star Wars Arcade um, Sega 32X game. I picked this up in a bundle. So I paid 50 bucks for the whole box. I already made all my money back. So I don't know how much exactly I got into this, but keep it out for 32X games, complete in box Sega Genesis games. Those things do pretty well. Make sure you always do your research. And then here's a uh, pretty decent game to look out for that I didn't know about that was worth money. Um, the Battle of Olympus for Nintendo um, for the NES. And this sold for 20 bucks. This was the best. Uh, I sent them an offer um, for $19.99. I had it listed for $24.99. I just wanted to move it. And it sold. And then we sold a complete Nintendo Wii bundle for 60 bucks. And yeah, The Last of Us. And then also the first item from the bundle sold. It's Mario Wii Motion Plus controller, and also this right here sold. But yeah, the controller sold really fast. I just listed that this morning, and it already sold for $34.99. So yeah, guys, there's a couple solds um, for, as you see right there, 11 items for $739. So pretty happy. All right, guys, so here is my nice Wii pickup. So I'm going to go through all this stuff with you guys, tell you guys how much some of the stuff should sell for, how much I paid for it at the end. And, yeah, so first things first, though, I picked this up as well. This is a, just a regular DS Lite. Um, it came with a copy of Mario Kart DS. So I paid 30 bucks for this, the charger and the game for, yeah, I paid 30 bucks and I'm asking 65. So after fees and shipping, I should make around 20 bucks profit, 18 to 20 bucks profit, you know, after shipping and fees in my cost of goods. So pretty good there. So we picked up this Wii. So we got the Wii here and then came with the controllers so three controllers two had the adapters so obviously i'll bundle one nunchuck one controller with the system and keep two controllers for when i get more of these in the future that may not have them so that's why i like picking up these bundles because i get extra controllers accessories and i could use them for future you know systems so that's good there and we have the sensor bar all the cords and there's also a mario kart um, steering wheel. And then we got this uh, babysitting mama Wii game. This game's not worth much, but if you bundle it with the doll, um, you can see you put the remote back there, and you can get like 25, 30 bucks for it. So not too bad. Never knew about that until today. That wasn't even in the pictures. Um, he just threw that in. He's like, hey, this goes with one of the games. And I was like, oh, cool. So we got the stack of really good games here. And then the stack of not so good. So we're going to breeze right through these crappy games. So um, that's how these bundles work. You get some good games, you get some bad games. And you guys can see I have a whole stack of like Wii games that aren't really worth much. Um, that's just how it is. <laughs> so I kind of just hold on to them. So we got Playground for the Wii. We got Outdoor Challenge. Just Dance 3. The Littlest Pet Shop, the Extreme Challenge, Carnival Games, Wii Fit, Just Dance 4, Game Party, Wii Play, another Wii Play, 
Toy Story Mania. So these Wii Play games and this to Toy Story game, I'll probably list still. They're about 10 bucks, um, free shipping. So I'll make a couple dollars profit. So I'll still list those probably. It, that's kind of like my rule of thumb. If the game's worth at least $9.99 and up, I'll list it. Um, so yeah, this one right here and then Epic Mickey. So now into the good stuff. I did not know this was in the bundle, so this was a surprise. And uh, yeah, the Wii Sports, it's a $25 game. This one is complete, so that's good. Pokemon Battle Revolution, this is a $30 to $40 game. I'm going to ask $40, maybe a little more. Um, just because Pokemon's so hot right now, it is complete. And I had the poster for it. This is the Pokemon uh, Revolution poster. So I'm going to put this in with that that I had laying around and ask that, you know, 40 bucks on that. Mario Strikers Charged. It's a $20 game. So this guy had some really good stuff. So, and I got a really good deal. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It's a $20 game. We got Skyward Sword Zelda. Um, it's a really good game. Unfortunately, this one did not have the uh, little DVD disc or whatever, but it has the the actual game and then all the inserts the manual all that stuff so not sure how much it's going to go for without that disc but i know for a fact it's going to be at least 25 plus so really good there and some other good stuff here we got super mario bros we always get 25 to 30 for that we sports resort complete in box really nice and all this stuff's in really good condition um, this is a $30 game right here. Last one I sold complete was 30 bucks. Then we got Super Paper Mario. Uh, it's about 15, 18 bucks. Mario Party 8. Last copy I sold of this I think was 50 bucks, but that one had a manual. Or no, maybe it was 45. But anyways, I'll I'll ask 40 40 bucks for this one. So this one doesn't have the manual, unfortunately. Then we got Mario Kart. I always get, you know, 30 bucks for that. Super Mario Galaxy 2. This one is complete with the insert and manual. And really good condition. So I'll ask 30 to $32.99 for that. And then we got Super Mario Galaxy 1. So really good games. Um, Wii Sports Resort, I didn't know was in the bundle. I didn't even see the case in the bundle and the game was inside the Wii. So, and then Wii Sports, I didn't, that wasn't in there as well. So that's another, you know, 50, 55 bucks in games that I didn't know about. So that's great. So how much did I pay for everything? So this was a offer up deal and I was surprised this post was up for like 40 minutes until I saw it. And I saw it message right away. Um, I tried to have the person mark it sold for me um, because they wanted to meet the next day, which was today. Um, I saw this post last night and uh, they, they couldn't meet that day, that night. And I was like, well, can you mark it sold? Cause I really want it. And um, you know, I'll, I'll pay you what you're at. He was asking 130 and I said, what's the best you can do? He said 115. I said, like, okay, deal, you know, I'll do that. Uh, no problem. Um, can you mark it sold? So he didn't want to mark it sold. Um, and he, he was getting more offers and stuff. I just got kind of lucky with this one. Other people were offering, you know, the same I offered, 115, 100 bucks. But he he kept his word and um, he sold it to me for 115 the next day. So I messaged him right when I woke up at like 9 in the morning, 8.30. Like 8.30 in the morning and we met up. So really good. I paid 115 bucks for everything let me know down in the comments if you think that's a good deal if that's something you would buy for 115 bucks um i'll do this all day long just because these games will sell snap of the finger quick and the wii i sell pretty much snap of the finger quick as well 65 70 bucks range 65 um so you know yeah really good deal let me know down in the comments if you would buy that stuff um so yeah guys let me know about those reseller box that i mentioned in the first part of the video if you'd be interested in that and we'll see if i'll try to figure some stuff out so that's gonna be it for today's video guys hope you guys enjoyed if you guys got some value out of today's video or just enjoyed the content want to see more 
please subscribe, like, and comment on the video. I really appreciate it. I like to read all the comments and all that stuff to see that you guys are enjoying the videos. So I'll see you guys very, very soon in the next video. Peace.